What's up, my friends? Welcome back to Frog Boy X1 Gaming. I'm Andrew, and today I would like you to define what the hell a quality game is. Because, to tell you the truth, after 38 freaking years of playing video games, I am so tired of hearing this, this, this quality game thing thrown around like there's just all these bangers out there that are, that are actual quality games. So... I would like you, as the community, or passers-by, or whatever, to please explain to me what a quality game is in your, um, in, in, in your, in, 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 like, your own words. Like, I want to know what the community and what everybody feels like a true quality game is. Because, to tell you the truth, <clears throat> I've been a PlayStation fan for a very, very long time. Since, since the PlayStation 1. Like when they first came out, like I had one and we were we were playing that. And it was and it was a console. It was it had cool games on it. And then we get PlayStation 2 and again more cool games. They 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 got a little bit better graphics. Basically still the same, you know, type of game for the most part, you know, corridor games is what we had in the PlayStation 2 era. Y you know, like little small areas where you basically go from one corridor to another corridor. Uh, PlayStation 3, we started getting some open world games that were that were definitely bigger than what than what we had had before with the corridor games, but we were still getting a significant amount of corridor games. And I think PlayStation 3, like right toward the end of the generation, obviously we got The Last of Us. You know, The Last of Us came out and it was like this this thriller story for like a movie and you know had good voice acting and and had all the had all the tropes i mean obviously when you play when you compare it to something like you know resident evil resident evil was a little bit quirky or whatever you know and but then you take you know the last of us and this like this super serious game <clears throat> that's pretty much in the same genre as like a resident evil type game and then we go over to playstation 4 and then as the PlayStation 4 generation starts to go through, we start to get these higher quality movie games that are full of QTEs and they're walked down a corridor here and they got really good looking graphics, really good looking, you know, super, super good looking cutscenes with a lot of cutscenes. You know, I mean, it was like before in like the PlayStation 1 and PlayStation 2 gen gen generations, the game would come out we get this like really cool like you know opening sequence like this cut scene or whatever and then the rest of the game would just be like the game you know what i mean but then all of a sudden we have these games that are just stuffed full of cut scenes full of freaking qtes they they essentially play they the, themselves for you you really don't have to do anything you just sit in front of a tv for a weekend or 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 a few hours or whatever and you can get through those I mean, like, think about it, dude. The Order, the 1886. That game absolutely looked incredible, but it was so bare bones that, like, nothing. You, you, it, it's, it's like, where do we draw the line over a quality game? To me, and I'll tell you what my, my understanding of this is and, and the way I feel about it. To me, a quality game is something that I can get super immersed in and then I can play and play and play and come back to it and want to come back to it and continue to play that and get a lot of play time out of that. To me, that is quality. A freaking weekend game that I can get through in a weekend that basically plays itself and has a good story. To me, that's not a quality game. That's just that's just a, 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 a super expensive movie. They could have just put that on like Netflix or something. In like eight seasons or something, or not eight seasons, but eight episodes, it, it it would have made more sense to actually just watch a movie because the gameplay that you get out of some of these games is so ridiculously freaking average that it's not even funny. Now, I mean, there have been some good games that I truly call like masterpieces or quality experiences, but... I think that word quality gets thrown around just way too much when it comes to video games. We have to remember, these are video games. And we, as a community and as gamers, that's what we should want, is video games. Something that's fun, that looks kind of, I mean, that looks cool. I don't want my games to look super realistic, unless they're a racing sim. Like that, I'm okay with being super realistic. 
But like other games, the more realistic they get, the more boring they start to look. Like they do not hold up very well once once you get past like once you're once you're done with the with the honeymoon phase you're still stuck with the gameplay and if the gameplay sucks because the graphics are so good what is the point of that game i mean let's take for instance spider-man 2 spider-man 2 comes out and everybody's instantly complaining about the graphics because they don't look more like, like, they don't look significantly better than what we got with the other Spider-Mans. But, the way that they did the visuals on Spider-Man 2, in my opinion, actually looks a little bit better. Because it looks cool, and that game's going to hold up. Uh, that game's going to hold up for a lot longer than, than most of these other games that are coming out that are looking super realistic. Um, even, even like take Alan Wake 2, like Alan Wake 2 just has this nuance to the, the, like they nailed the atmosphere, like the atmosphere looks super over, over exaggerated. So yeah, the game looks realistic, but it's got this super over exaggerated, um, like atmosphere to that game that really makes that shine and will really keep that good looking, like really good for a very long time. But then if you like go back and you look at some of these other games, that just look super realistic like they're they're kind of boring to be completely honest with you they are kind of boring they 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 don't really hold up um they they don't hold up very 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 well at least in my opinion now if i go back and i play something like god of war 2018 that game does not hold up like it doesn't hold up it doesn't look it doesn't look good like it just looks um even playing it on the on the pc like it just doesn't have that I don't I don't know. It's like it's like when you play these games that have these really hard hitting stories and these like shallow shallow visuals or whatever, like you look at the game and it's like, yeah, it looks good like when you first play through it. But when you try to go back, well at least for me, when I try to go back through some of these movie games and I try to play them again, I, I just can't do it. Like The Last of Us Part Two, I could definitely play that one again. I've 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 played it twice. It's it it looks good. It's got that realistic look, but it's also got that that atmosphere to it that that makes it look good no matter what you're doing. Uh, um, you know, some of these games, man, that that people you know just run around and and say that these are these are quality games or whatever. Like I don't get it, man. Like it doesn't make sense to me. Like some of this stuff I've beaten so quick. And just gotten through it and, and seriously have forgotten some of it because it's it's so average, so average, the stuff that PlayStation has put out this generation for the PlayStation 5 that that I don't know. Like, I, I, I mean, I kind of kick myself every time I waste another $70 on one of them games because I'm like, all right, it was cool. Like, it was it was safe. It was good, whatever. But, like, there's really no substance to most of the stuff that comes out from PlayStation anymore. These these games are 100% designed to like blow you away visually and then they fall short. Like I could think of maybe maybe a couple of these PlayStation 5 games that were actually a little bit better than average, you know, like I did think Horizon Forbidden West was a little bit better than average. Um I did think that um uh, Spider-Man 2 was a little bit better than average. Still average, obviously a safe game. I mean, Spider-Man, but but you know like the the traversal and everything that they put in that game was very very cool, but I wouldn't call it a quality game. I would call it a a, a game. Like that one there is like a, a good, a really a really like it's a really good game. Definitely above average, but still it it's still tied to that freaking to, to like like older style gaming like it's it is what it is man like i i don't get it man like we call all these playstation games quality and i'm just and i and i just look at them and i'm just like gosh these could have been quality games every time i hear somebody say a playstation first party game is a quality game i'm thinking to myself no like this could have been far better they could have like toned down some of these visuals, made this game bigger, and and gave you stuff some to actually do long term. But no, they they chose a cut and dry freaking story that you you're not gonna play again. You're not gonna play it again. Like they're they're 
They're just long enough to be too long to want to replay them again, and they're too short, and they and they and they and they're. I know it's it's weird, but or or and and they're too short to fully give you a, in my opinion, to fully give you a satisfying experience when you play something like Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart and it's like twelve hours, or you play Spider Man Two and it's like ten hours. You play you play these games and you get like ten hours out of these stories, and then you're thinking like, well, now okay, what else am I supposed to do now? Because they're corridor games, like Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. It's a corridor game, so what do you do? There's no adventure. There's no <laughs> yeah. Oh, I don't know. I mean, even Horizon Forbidden West. I mean, it was a cool game, but like the world, there's like nothing to find there. Like like where's the secrets? Where's the cool exploration? It's so small that that like by the time you by the time you've played it for 40 hours, you've seen everything. Like you've literally seen everything. So so I don't know, man. Like I, I would like people to tell me, you know, what's your version of a quality game? Why is it a quality game? What does what 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 is it that you look for in a game to decide to give it that quality seal going forward? Like I, I just want to know. I want to know how you guys feel. So thank you for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one. And uh have a great night.